I'm Josh Muller and this video is carving a cooked chicken. First thing that people always ask is how do I get my chicken out of the pan, right? So I always use two carving forks and just grab the chicken at either end and make sure your forks can hold a good amount of pressure. These ones I like because they'll hold a a large enough amount of pressure they can pick up like a 50 pound beef roast no problem. The next thing you want to do is start to break apart the chicken so that you can uh, get to the pieces that you want to carve. Um, when I'm working with meats I always try to make sure I take my jewelry off because when I'm going to get my hands into raw meats or cooked meats I don't want that getting all messed up on my rings for example. So remember there's three types of knives that you can grab for carving meats. One would be your small utility knife with a jagged edge. Then you'd have your medium carving knife, and then you'd have your large uh, meat carving knife. So the small utility knife is going to be more for trimming fats. This one would be the one you would want to use for a chicken, uh, the medium carving knife. And the reason is because you always want your knife to be a little bit longer than what it is that you're carving. And with a chicken breast, it's small enough that this is the perfect size knife. Because when you're slicing back and forth, you want the length of the knife to do the work for you. The large carving knife can be a little bit big for a chicken. It's more perfect for turkeys, hams, briskets, or tri-tip, larger meats like that. We're going to separate the legs. A good chicken like this will just fall apart. That's when you know it's cooked perfectly. And you can just pull the legs off. Sometimes the bones might get stuck. And so you just want to expose those joints and use your knife to cut down through. Pull your wings off. I'm sure there's people in your family who love the wings like me. And then just set those aside. After washing your hands, you want to come back to the actual chicken itself. First thing you want to do, just like when you're carving a turkey, is get your fork in there so you can hold it nice and firm. And then you want to slice in underneath the breast until you feel it hit the bone. Then after that, you just want to start at the front of the, of the chicken breast and you want to give it a nice slice. Just use a back and forth motion, go from back to tip, tip to back, back and forth. And what you'll find is if you have a good sharp knife, it'll do all of the work for you. You don't have to put any pressure on it or anything. And then you get these nice thin slices. They don't fall apart and they fall right off the chicken when you're done because you cut underneath. So when you get down to the bone, you'll feel that the chicken will actually just release itself. One other thing that you might like to do is just save the breast as a whole. So what you can do, grab again the chicken with your fork and then go in and cut all the way up. You can feel it cut up along the bone. And then what you want to do is find the little spot right here where the chicken breast meets the backbone of the chicken. When you find that, then you just cut in and give it a nice stroke back and forth. You'll feel the bone all the way along. You just want to go all the way along it. That way you make sure you get the most meat off of the chicken as you possibly can. That thing's just so scary. It's like a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on? <laughs> 